All right, dear members of the great Prime community, welcome to another episode of Prime TV. In this particular presentation, I'm going to show you how to make your data tables responsive easily. Because with the latest versions of Prime Libraries, we have introduced a new approach to responsive tables. In the past, we had them actually, but there had to be some custom CSS that had to be written on your site, but now it's all built in and taken care of by the, by the component. So, uh, the responsive table is not actually an easy task because the rows and columns are usually wider and they're displayed as horizontal and but on a mobile device it's vertical right so it gets messed up when you have a lot of uh, the columns let's say more than 10 columns how can you fit all this content into a small screen well the prime tables now uh, provide uh, two approaches there it comes in two flavors one is the scroll mode the other being the stack mode i'm going to show you the both of them so there's a new property called uh, responsive layout and let's set it to scroll and I'm going to show you how to how it works let's put it this in uh, responsive mode as the screen size gets smaller As a horizontal school bar is displayed. And this is just it. I mean, you don't need to worry about it because the browser just aligns it based on the content. So there's not something that you need to do other than just setting responsibly at the scroll. And it doesn't matter how, ma how many columns you have, it just works. And if there is enough space, then there's no school bar. Okay. This is the one. So this is like, although your table is not scrollable, you know, we also have scrollable tables. The table just uses that scrollable approach to provide responsive design so that all that content can fit in. The next part is the stack mode. In the stack mode, the, the columns are displayed on top of each other. Okay, so just regular table on, a, on when you have enough screen. Let's make it smaller and then you get um, what we call stack mode where you display where we display the column headers on the left side and the content goes to the right side and this is it. You may be asking if you have any control over the breakpoint right now because it's I, if I remember correctly it's 960. Let's see increasing. That's the max width. Okay, 960. And of course, you can change it to something else, like any CSS unit will do. Right now, it's 1024. All right. Now, you can see that for that threshold, now I can have, um, I can customize the breakpoint. And this is all performant. There's not much JavaScript going on here. It's based on the stack mode. It's based on a media query that, that is dynamically included in the page. And scroll mode is just full CSS. We are letting the browser do its job. So which one to choose? It depends on your requirements because as you can see in the um, stack mode, I can lose uh, sorting and filtering so if you have some advanced table with sort pagination works because it's displayed on top of the table but um if you have uh, sorting and filtering uh there's not much space to put them efficiently on the page so that in that case i suggest using scroll mode and you know there's no breakpoint involved here and with the scroll mode you can have um scrolling so let me check the table, the advanced table, where we have included a lot of features. You know, as you can see, this table has a lot of features with the balance and things like that, and the pagination as well. And it doesn't matter. The screen size doesn't matter. So if, if it's a tablet, I mean, the users can have more columns visible in the viewport. 
But that's my suggestion. If you have like pagination, uh, sorting and filtering, uh, I would suggest the scroll mode. So this is already available in Prime View 3.3.1 and it's also coming to Prime React, Prime Faces and Prime Engine in their upcoming releases. And that's it. So I hope you like this feature. I think um, if you just upgrade to a newer version, your all tables, all of your tables will become responsive and you don't need to worry about it. And of course, you have full control over the breakpoints and uh, whatnot. Okay, thank you and always, but on Prime.